Now, toying with change, Pawtucket-based Hasbro is looking for a new headquarters. As we first reported at 5, the company expects to decide in the next three to six months whether to stay in Rhode Island. Iowa News News reporter Ted Nisi sat down with Hasbro CEO Brian Goldner for an update, including how the company is handling the first Christmas without Toys R Us. Ted joins us now with more of his exclusive interview. Hasbro is about 1,600 employees in Rhode Island, and Goldner says part of why he wants a new headquarters is because the work they do is changing. And that was a, a big surprise. As the head of one of America's two biggest toy companies, Hasbro CEO Brian Goldner has spent a lot of time dealing with the collapse of Toys R Us. It's been disruptive in, a, in, a, in many different ways. All 800 U.S. Toys R Us stores closed their doors earlier this year after the investment firms that controlled the retailer pulled the plug on a restructuring. And obviously Hasbro lost money in that process as well because we didn't get paid for all the inventory that we had sold to them. And then as we come into the fourth quarter, you know, again, we're in the holiday season without that retailer. It represented 9% of our global revenues, but about two-thirds of those revenues were here in the United States. So it has has a big impact in the U.S. Investors were spooked, sending Hasbro shares on a wild ride over the last 10 months. Goldner thinks the worst is over. By 2019, we believe we will return to growth, and that would be without Toys R Us, but it's been a disruptive year. On a walk through Hasbro's brand showcase in Pawtucket, Goldner showed me how the company has been branching out, investing big money in video games, animation, and films like the upcoming Bumblebee movie. We took a bigger role in producing this and also obviously in, in paying for the production. Would you say this is a little more uh, a little more family friendly Transformers than maybe some of the ones late in the series so far? It is. Ultra popular card game Magic the Gathering is getting a digital upgrade. We launched uh, Arena, which is an online way to play Magic. My Little Pony's been around a long time. How much do you have to keep reinventing? All those? the time. Yeah, all the time. But some classics don't need much updating, like Play-Doh. It's one of our most global brands because creativity and colors is something that every parent can get behind. Hasbro, though, still does not recommend eating Play-Doh, right? No, no. Fun to play with, not to eat. Goldner does say Hasbro recently patented Play-Doh's scent. And you can watch our entire conversation on this week's edition of Executive Suite, Sunday at 8 p.m. on my RITV or right now on WPRI.com. Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.